crystal making. I can't see this either. Cassie? Just Cassie? Cascades! Oh, I checked. Okay. Hi. This is Luke Diddy. Hi, my name is Cassie, and I'm a writer for HealingCrystals.com. And today I'm going to show you how to wire wrap a pendant. So you'll need a few tools to get started. These are three in one pliers. They have round needle nose tips. There's wire cutters on the bottom, and then you can use the middle to flatten your wire. I'm using Beadsmith Craft Wire. It's 22 gauge tarnish resistant. You can experiment with different gauges as you practice, but this is a good number to start with. And we'll be wire wrapping this fluorite tumbled stone. So eventually it will look like one of these pendants that I already have pre-wrapped. So your first step is you're going to want to cut a piece of wire that will loosely fit around your stone, leaving a couple of inches extra excess. So what I'll usually do is take the piece I'm going to wrap, shape the wire around the stone, and cut something about this length. Save a little bit of time, I've already pre-cut these pieces of wire, but you're going to want six pieces of equal length that will end up fitting around your stone. So once you have these six pieces cut, you're going to spend a little bit of time with your fingers, just pressing them as tightly as you can so you can get it nice and smooth and as close together as possible. Once you feel like you've achieved this, you're going to want to take your stone and get an idea of where you want the front, the back, the top, and the bottom to be. I'd like the pendant to sit like this, so I'm going to set it in the wire, like so. So right now you're going to want to hug your bundle of wire as tightly as you can around the stone. So we'll start to get the shape of it. When you take the stone out, you kind of have a loose little frame that will just look like the shape of your stone. The next two pieces of wire you're going to want to cut should be about two inches long. These are going to be end up being these same bundles on either side that hold the piece together. So you take the first one that you cut and wrap it around what will be one side of the stone. You can use either your fingers or your pliers for this step. I usually use a mixture of both. You get more control with your fingers, but you can apply more pressure with the pliers. Periodically, I like to tighten them together just so everything stays nice and neat. And once you've wrapped it around about four or five times, you can cut the excess. You have a little piece that pokes out. So you're going to want to use your pliers to tuck it what will be the inside of the wire wrap. Baby girl, blessed with the beauty of love and life, Baby, girl, blessed with the power to create and give truth. Baby love, trapped in a big dream world where your worth is Now that you finished wrapping both of the smaller pieces of wire on either side, you should have two pieces that look like this. Baby, sister, girl, thinking sex equals sex. So now what you're going to do is one more time. Hug the wire around the crystal to start to get an idea of what the pendant will look like once it's wrapped. And then essentially what you're going to do is create a little cradle for the crystal. Since you have six pieces of wire on either side, I like to separate them in pairs. So two pieces of wire will go around the back of the stone, two around the side, and two in the front. You will do the same thing on either side, two for the back. Two for the side and two for the front. And then you'll do the same thing on what will be the bottom. 
two for the back. Two will actually just be in the bottom in the middle. And then two will wrap around the front. cradle, there's a little seat that your crystal is going to sit in. So now's the part of actually shaping the wire around the stone. And so usually if there's a flatter side of the stone, I like that to be the back, but a lot of times when you wrap it this way, it can be interchangeable the front and the back. So I'll start to shape the bottom pieces of the wire around the stone. <laughs> Then you'll want to do two in the back, two will be in the side, two will be the front. You want to hug the wire as tightly as possible so you don't have any gaps. And then your next step will be just wrapping the top. So what I usually like to do is out of all of these that are sticking, I'll just take two in the front or two in the back, it really doesn't matter, and just kind of start to wrap these together. You can do this with your fingers. It doesn't have to be super tight because eventually all the rest of these on top will also get wrapped around it. But at least this will really start to give you an idea of what the pendant will look like. And then I'll spend some time making sure the wire is nice and tight around all sides of the pendant. This is where you can maybe add designs with your pliers if you want the lines to be squiggly. Um, you really just want to make sure there aren't any holes that are big enough for the stone or the crystal to slide through. And even once you finish the top, you can still spend some time playing around with the wires, making sure they're really tight, um, they're the design or the shape that you want. And sometimes I'll do this with my pliers, like if there's gaps over here. You just press really hard with your pliers to kind of press that wire in so it hugs the crystal nice and tightly. And once you pretty confident with how it looks, how you want the wire to be. You can take this bunch and you can either use your fingers or you can use the pliers. I do like to spend a little bit of time straightening it. And then you'll take these, put them together again as close as possible and just wrap them around your finger. This is going to be the bail so it doesn't have to be incredibly large, just large enough for a chain to fit through. And then I'll use my fingers and just kind of Press these around the gap on top. And essentially you're done. You've wrapped a pendant. You still have a few more steps, but the hard work is over. There is still another really time consuming step though. You'll have a lot of these little pokey wires sticking out from the ends. So what I'll do for these is you kind of have to go through individually Take one with the end of your pliers, pull it as tight as you can around the top, and then anything that's sticking out, I'll tuck them in with the pliers so they don't stick out because then they'll poke your sweater, they'll poke your friends. You just want to make sure they're nice and tight in there. So I'll take a little bit of time to do as well as making sure that the pieces of wire again around the stone are how you want them to look. So if there's ones like these on the side, I'll spend some time making sure they're in the front. Again, tightening where I can pushing up, maybe making different designs. This part really um, is up to you and your freedom and your creativity. But basically once you have that done, you'll have a pendant that you can wear, that you can give to a friend, and that you can enjoy. Thank you for joining us. Next time we'll be wrapping Tree of Life pendants. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Hey, and cut.